Hello my CD friends. Today we're going to talk about green garden peas from beginning to end. These peas are ready to be harvested. They were planted um, February 28th um, and then I had to replant them again uh, March 1st. Uh, mainly uh, I actually replanted them three times because my chickens kept digging them up. So a couple things. We're going to talk about growing them. We're going to talk about harvesting them. And we're going to talk about saving the seeds from them. So those are three pretty important things for self-sufficiency. If you're buying your seeds every year, it's a waste of money. And um, we need to break the cycle of consumerism. You can see these, these peas, these green garden peas are ready to be harvested because they're big and plump. See how they're really filling out the pods? So what I personally do is I grow other plants, tomatoes and peppers and squash, there's a little squash. I start those and then I let those trellis in place of these. So I get the smaller plants going and when I pull these out, then the tomatoes, usually the tomatoes, can, can use the trellis. You can see on this side, the tomatoes are already starting to climb up the trellis. So this will just give it more room. <clears throat> once I pull all these peas out. And what's cool is you can tell that they're ready to be harvested because they swell up. But the other thing that's neat is when you look over here at these peas, I don't know how well you can see it in the sunshine. can't really see the screen. But um, see how these peas have already dried? That's exactly how you're going to dry them. All you're going to do is pull the whole plant, root and all, and hang the entire root ball up in a dry, cool place, like I could hang it in that carport, or I'll probably hang it on one of my porches, and let the whole plant dry. I have one drying, I'll show you um, what it looks like, and then I'll show you the peas inside. So let's get one pulled up here. So to plant these, when I planted these on March 1st, all I did was come out with the seeds, and I just popped them in all along the trellis. Obviously, the trellis was empty at that time. Um, and just let them do their work. I didn't really water them. Didn't really do much of anything with them. So you see I have a few. Just going to pull them off. And that's what one pea plant looks like. The whole plant. So, you can see the peas on there. I can hang that up to dry, or I can fill the wheelbarrow, and then I can um, just, you know, shuck all the peas off, and then shuck them out of the pods, blanch them, and freeze them. So, I'm going to do a couple different things with them. I'm going to dry some, I'm going to blanch and freeze some, and I'm going to dry some for seed. Okay, so I pulled the peas off of this first trellis. The one I just showed you the close-up on. And as you can see, I already had tomato plants and peppers growing here. So the tomatoes are just going to continue on. I have some bush beans growing over there. I'm going to lean over towards the trellis. And then, see, I have a tomato vine over there that really needs trellising. So I'll just stand that up on there. So from this one bed, I got this wheelbarrow full of peas. I don't know how well you can see them see you can see there's a good amount on here it's just loaded so yeah we'll have a pretty good harvest and then I just started pulling them here and you can see I still have to do the rest there and then again more tomatoes that can be trellised up it so yeah we're getting there okay second bed is empty okay you can see that I took the tomato plants that were just laying in the front of the bed here and I weaved them up the trellis I don't use posts or anything I just kind of weave them up so they'll end up doing what these are doing <clears throat> climb right to the top so as a quick recap I planted these peas February 23rd I replanted them March 1st this is now June 15th I believe uh, June 13th to the 15th somewhere in there and um, 
yeah, that's how long they've been in the ground. It didn't really take up a lot of bed space because you can see my peppers are growing. I got peppers planted all the way around the outside. Um, I have tomatoes that I planted close to the peas, so by the time they got big enough and I pulled the peas, I can trellis them up. And um, that's, that's all you have to do. So I could have left some of the peas on the trellis and let them dry there. And that's one way that you can dry the peas for seed or just to have dried be bean peas, beans, peas. I can't talk, I'm having heat stroke. <laughs> oh geez. Um, dry peas, you can leave them on the trellis until the plant is dead and dry and all the pods dry. The reason I don't do that is because if it rains, um, they could potentially sprout. Or in addition to that, um, in addition to them sprouting, they could also get moldy. So that's why I pull them and let them dry. So I hung um, an entire pea plant right here, right here on the porch two weeks ago. And you can see how brown and dry it is. And then all the pods dried. This is what the pods look like. You know what's cool about the uh, pea pods is that is like a perfect little God-made uh, seed envelope. So instead of opening them up, putting them in a packet, just, just give people a pod if you want to share seeds with them. So you see how nicely the, the peas dried up. And you can dehydrate them. You can keep them in a jar once they're totally dry and then add them to soups or stews. You can use those same dried peas to grow next year. You can also um, blanch them and freeze them if you want to use them fresh. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. I'm going to dry some uh, for seeds next year and also for, um, you know, dry stored goods. So if I wanted to make like a winter soup with dry veggies, then, you know, I would throw these peas in there and add it to it. Uh, peas are high in protein. They're really tasty. So, um, but then I also like them fresh as well. So I'll probably blanch some of the ones that are in the wheelbarrow and let them, um, let them sit in the freezer and we'll use those in the next couple months. I could can peas. Peas can definitely be canned, but the only reason I don't is because, um, because they get mushy and I'm not interested in mushy. So that's how you grow peas, my CD friends. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. If there's anything I forgot to cover, feel free and leave it in the comments because if we all work together, we're all going to help each other. Okay, take care.